Company Laboratory, where pilot Doug Hurley and flight engineer Tim Copra are working at the controls of the Space Shuttle's robotic arm. Teams here on the ground confirm that the robotic arm is officially grappled to the logistics carrier on the end of the exposed facility. It means it's grabbed on, and the next step will be for mission specialist Julie Payette inside the Kibo Laboratory to work the controls that will release the exposed facilities hold on the logistics carrier so that the robotic arm can take, take over its weight. We did go safe on the arm. We copy and we're taking a look down here. Mission Specialist Julie Payette has now made it to the soft docked mode for the logistics carrier, an intermediate mode between fully latched and unlatched. Station to Cuba on the big loop. We have a good indication for the AFU-10 fully open. Doug and Tim, you are go for, to unburst the jelly. We copy on the big loop. Go for unburst. And skip a copy the concurs. And skip a copy the concurs. Logistics carrier here still continuing to move slowly away from the exposed facility of the Kibo Laboratory. It's in the grip of the station's robotic arm driven by pilot Doug Hurley and flight engineer Tim Copra inside the Destiny Laboratory of the space station. And it will now be making its way to the space shuttle's robotic arm where Commander Mark Polanski and Mission Specialist Julie Payette will be waiting standing by to take over by gripping it with the shuttle's robotic arm and then reinstalling it into the cargo bay. Endeavor station on the big loop. The SSRMS is at the JLE handbag position. Your go for grapple. Copy that. Thanks, guys. Great job. We'll put uh, our grapple in work. Once this handoff is done, the station, excuse me, the shuttle's robotic arm will be installing the logistics carrier into the shuttle's cargo bay. And then from there, teams on the ground will begin taking over the robotic work for the day. They'll start moving the mobile transporter, the rail car that the station's robotic arm sits on, from work site 8, where it currently is, to work site 4, further into the center of the station's trust system. And then just before the crew goes to sleep on orbit, the teams on the ground are going to be powering up the station's dexterous manipulator, or dexter as it's also known, uh, another element of the station's robotic system. And that's going to be the focus of one task, if time permits, on tomorrow's spacewalk to get some of its thermal covers resituated. Space Station robotic arm here being driven by pilot Doug Hurley and flight engineer Tim Coper backing away from the logistics carrier now that the Space Shuttle's robotic arm has a good grip on it. Julie's done a great job, and if you concur, we're going to proceed to uh, activate the latches in step five of our procedure. Endeavor. 
for Houston on the big loop. Uh, we concur. Great work, and you are go to proceed. Thanks. Logistics carrier now in place inside the shuttle's cargo bay, as you heard from Commander Mark Polanski. He and Mission Specialist Julie Payette have been working the shuttle's robotic arm, moving it into place, and now all that remains is to actually activate the latches that will hold it still during the Endeavour's landing. And the station's robotic arm in motion again as it moves to its part position, at which point the mobile translator, the rail car that the robotic arm moves along, will be able to move from the work site 8 that it's currently at further towards the center of the station to work site 4. Station's arm is the largest of the robotic arms currently on orbit. It's about 57 feet long and has seven degrees of freedom. That's the areas that it can move at, as you just saw it moving around its wrist joint there. Houston Station, Space Ground 2 for robotics. Go ahead on Space Ground 2. Hal, I think we're uh, done with the uh, big arm for the docked ops. Uh, we'd just like to thank uh, Sarmat and his team and our trainers uh, for the great job. We enjoyed it. Uh, Tim especially enjoyed this last one. And uh, we'll see you guys back on the ground in a few days. Hey, guys, great job. Uh, Doug, Julie, Tim, Koichi, uh, couldn't have done it better. Uh, we're real proud. Thanks a lot, Hal. Well, hello, everyone. It's uh, Bill Harwood, CBS News, and I'll start with uh, Commander Polanski. Uh, Mark, you said before launch this was going to be uh, an extremely 